Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube Elk Shape channel. Today, we're talking about peep rotation. Today, we're talking about peeps, and I don't mean the guy next door. Have you ever pulled your bow back and have your peep slightly off, left or right? I mean, it can mean a lot of variance in your shot. You know, if you're whitetail hunting, you kind of have an opportunity, you're in a tree stand, you can kind of check your peep and make sure that it's good to go. You can do a practice draw. Maybe you're about to do a stock out west. You can always just pull your bow back, make sure that peep's not rotating. We no longer have the rubber tubing that's very outdated and that adds variance. So peep rotation to me is something very concerning. I will say this. No matter what strings you run, I prefer custom, they need a lot of arrows through them to kind of break it in. Even the best strings out there, I've had a little bit of peep rotation regardless of who promises what. This is not a debate on who makes the best custom strings. You have your opinions, I have mine. Let's just agree and put that aside. The bottom line is what are you gonna do if you have some peep rotation? I've had it happen to me recently. I'm running BCY 354. I'm using a natural string and I'm using green serving. So there's just not a lot of dyes, not a lot of wax. There's just not a lot of opportunity for that bow to really to twist at all. But it did, and it did it after about three, 400 arrows. And it twisted just enough to be super annoying. I could just turn it a little bit and get it set, but let's be honest, it's only gonna get worse uh, and it could cost you a shot opportunity. Murphy's Law, welcome to archery hunting. I mean, what can go wrong will go wrong. So your job as a dedicated elk shape person is to make sure you eliminate those things. Let's talk about the first easy step is to just move the D-loop. You can move the D-loop by just twisting or pushing it and lining it up with the peep. That's kind of a band-aid and I tried that. I just took two pliers and moved the D-loop, just slid it over. I didn't move it up or down and it just kind of lined it up and it worked for you know a half a dozen arrows but eventually it twisted back. Then I just broke down and I put it in a press. I did a half a twist on the string, both the top and bottom cam and voila, it's back to perfect, which is awesome. So we wanted to make a short, quick video saying, hey, here's what you should and shouldn't do. Shouldn't let it go by the wayside. You have to address it early on. So get a lot of arrows through your bow. If your strings finally settle, then it's time to go ahead and make the adjustment. You can try the Band-Aid D-loop moving a little bit with the pliers. Uh, we'll show you how to do that. Or you can simply put it in a bow press. What if you don't have a bow press? Run down to your local pro shop. And if you're looking at getting a home bow press for quick little fixes like that, check out Last Chance Archery. They're a great partner of Elk Shapes. You know, they've really helped us mold our own amateur pro shop. And we got nothing but love for pro shops. There's some things that's kind of nice to do. And that's one thing I wouldn't want to have to run all the way down to the archery shop for. Let's show you how you do that right here. Showing how I'm going to take this out of there. I'm going to hold on to it and I'm just going to twist it and I'm gonna put it back in. Why we're talking about peeps, I run a 3 16 Hamski. I like it because it's very tunnel-y and what that means is it's really obvious if my peep isn't centered over the housing. So I like my peep to be all the way around the housing, perfect. I don't want it here or there. I want it right down the middle, everything perfect. Some guys will shoot with their peep slightly, um, not really all the way around the circle. And that's gonna add variance. So I would just suggest looking at that. One other tidbit, and it's kind of important. What are you aiming at? Are you aiming at a specific spot on the animal? or are you looking at your pen and blurring out the animal? Think about that. Maybe next time you shoot, I know that gets overlooked by some people. I personally blur out the pen and look exactly at what I'm trying to hit. And so the pen's just kind of there. It's moving because I'm not Levi Morgan, but I try to make it not move very much and I just blur out the pen and aim for the specific spot I'm aiming. Something to think about while we're talking about peep and rotation and becoming as accurate and creating the least amount of variance in your archery setup. All right, guys, that's our peep rotation little tip for you guys this week. Subs, we want subscribers. We wanna know this channel is growing and that we're making a difference and bringing you authentic, honest, good content 
that can help elevate your game. And to reward some of you loyal guys and gals, we're giving away this Razer HD 4000 when we hit 15K subs. If you're checking this video out and you find it cool and you like some of our content, give us a sub so you can be notified when we drop stuff, which we do quite often. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.